like to introduce our guest, Steve Krikorian from Lawrence General Hospital. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am Steve Krikorian. I'm the Director of Corporate Relations at Lawrence General Hospital, um, a local, not-for-profit community hospital. There's not too many of us left, though, so that's who we are. I, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and, and why I'm at the hospital. So I've been the Director of Corporate Relations for just shy of a year and a half. Uh, we've been, my wife and I and four children, in Andover for 30 years. Uh, we grew up in Reading, Mass. Uh, for years I worked primarily in Boston with a large global consulting firm and a couple of large law firms in a business development client relationship capacity. Um, and then uh, time to do something a little bit different. Long story short, um, I had never had any experience with Lawrence General. All our health care, me being in Boston, our health care was, or my health care was with Mass General. The kids had uh, pediatricians that were uh, affiliated with Winchester Hospital. Um, and my oldest um, had surgical complications. She had surgery at Mass General that uh, she was home during the holidays four years ago, and it resulted um, in the uh, worst 911 situation. She's fine, she's healthy. Um, the the uh, interesting Lawrence, and I didn't realize this is an Andover resident, uh, our town does not have paramedic services. We have uh, EMTs, and um, paramedics can do a lot more than EMT. When they got the call, uh, uh, we made the call to the dispatch, at the same time as the Andover ambulance shows up, so does the Lawrence General Hospital uh, paramedics. And, and they had to um, uh, intubate my daughter halfway to the hospital, so she was saved there, and the hospital saved her. Um, she had had a blood clot um, as a result of the surgery. And um, once she was stabilized, she was transferred by helicopter to Mass General and the doctors at Mass General both in the ICU and the cardiac floor were frankly um, and expressed it to my wife and I amazed at uh, the decisions, the work, the care that she got at Lawrence General. Um, so when it came time for me to do something different I said I'd like to see if I can uh, leverage what I've done in the past in terms of what I thought maybe was my skill set, uh, maybe do something different, learn something new and perhaps give back. Um, so that's why I'm at Lawrence General. Uh, it is a little bit about the hospital. We have uh, 2,000 employees. Uh, we're the, one of the largest employers in the Merrimack Valley. Uh, we are the largest em employer in Lawrence. Um, and we are, uh, I'm sure some of you, if not all of you, are familiar with uh, some of the struggles that the Massachusetts Hospital, uh, the steward healthcare system is going through, Holy Family, they're a for-profit model. Um, we are a non-profit, independent community hospital. So what does that mean? That means we have no clinical or other affiliation with uh, a large uh, Boston or teaching hospital. Um, and our mission is to provide care to everybody in the community, regardless of ability to pay um, and that's a challenge for us. Uh, we are, um, I would say, if you look at your uh, big teaching hospitals, research hospitals, probably 70% of their reimbursement comes from private insurance companies. Uh, with our footprint and the communities that we serve, I think about 30% of our reimbursement comes from private insurers. Um, as I said, uh, before I took the job and um, my boss said, the, the senior uh, vice president said, do you have any questions? I said, no, not questions, but a question really, but more an observation. He said, what's that? I said, this looks like or sounds like upside down economics to me. And he said, yeah, you're right. So, you know, if you think about it, 70% of our reimbursement comes from Medicare, which is okay, uh, and Mass Health, which is, uh, or Medi Medicaid, which is well below. Uh, market in terms of reimbursement. So we need to be efficient. Uh, we need to generate support in the community, and that's what I do. So uh, uh, philanthropy becomes uh, critical f to, uh, for the hospital and really three legs, individuals, charitable foundations, and companies. And we really haven't done, prior to me joining, 
uh, really anything in the business community. So that's my role primarily. I meet with businesses. I appreciate the opportunity to speak here, um, and 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 try to just uh, you know we're in this geographic area. I know we're a little bit uh, on the fringe here, uh, but you know I, I try to with the business community. My message is is pretty simple, uh, regardless. And being in Andover and, and many of the folks that uh, I call on, their health care probably isn't, their primary care isn't necessarily affiliated with Lawrence General. But in terms of two things, if you live or work in our area um, and an emergency happens, folks are, are coming to Lawrence General. We're the only level three trauma facility. The, um, another hospital couldn't save uh, my daughter because they didn't have that kind of life-saving, um, regardless of, for example, the, the situation, the Holy Family Hospital system, for example, is not a level three trauma, so they can't do the things that a Lawrence General can do. So to the overall community, we're critical uh, as it relates to, to that kind of service. And to, the, to many folks, particularly in the Lawrence community, we're central, um, they're central health care provider. Um, one of the things that we've, we've put together uh, and, and be happy to talk to anybody about uh, that. I'll leave some cards here. Is what we've uh, called it the Lawrence General Hospital Business Council, essentially a chamber of commerce within the hospital system. So it's maybe at this point it's about 25 members. Um, it's a program that any number of levels is not expensive to join, and it's a way for us as a hospital to introduce ourselves and build relationships with the business community. Um, and so, so that's one of the ways uh, that we've gone to market. And, you know, obviously, as I talk to businesses, I emphasize the, the obvious health care benefits and the critical nature of what we do. But from a business person's standpoint, we are really an economic engine as part of the business community in, in um, our area of the Merrimack Valley. You know, we have, we're independent and we have 2,000 employees, so we have a direct impact our employees do in terms of living where they live and spending where they spend and, and as a purchaser we have a direct impact uh, on the supply chain um, and so uh, one of our challenges though we're in an area kind of good news bad news uh, the, the uh, greater Lawrence area that has a lot of uh, very uh, reputable and valuable in terms of the services they provide uh, nonprofits um, so we have a generous community my job is for people to think a little bit more about the hospital. People typically don't. It's been our experience, my experience, that when, you know, I, 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 I keep saying as people think, as companies think about uh, spreading their charitable dollars, I need to do a better job of having people put Lawrence General on that list. I don't think it necessarily occurs to folks. But I think one of the things that this uh, Holy Family Steward situation does illustrate is I think subconsciously implicitly many people just assume that the local hospital is always going to be there and uh, there are real financial challenges um, in health care today and uh, as the steward example shows obviously there's different things going on there with a for-profit model that uh, hospitals need support like many other nonprofits so um, I appreciate your time your consideration if you have any uh, interest in the business council or the hospital, uh, obviously I'm glad to talk to you about that and if, if anybody has any questions I'm glad to answer them. Thank you.